In this video, we are going to discuss Fourier transform of impulse function. So, in this video, we are going to derive the Fourier transform of impulse function. So, first of all, you know about impulse function that is generally represented with del of t and this is equivalent to 1 at t equal to 0 and this is equivalent to 0 when t is not is equivalent to 0. That means, the impulse function is 0 only at t is equivalent to 0. In all other cases, that impulse function shows 0. So, now, we want to derive Fourier transform for this type of function. First, we need to get the equation of Fourier transform. For any signal x of t, if you want Fourier transform, then that is said to be x of omega, then the equation to get this x of omega is equivalent to integral minus infinity to infinity, your signal for which you require Fourier transform into e power minus j omega t dt by multiplying exponential in an integration this signal can be converted into frequency demand. So, this is Fourier transform equation for any signal x of t. Same formula I want to apply for my impulse function del of t. So, here Fourier transform of del of t it can be considered as del of omega is equivalent to minus infinity to infinity del of t into e power minus j omega t dt in place of x of t in place of any signal x of t I just, I just consider del of t. So, now as you know that in the properties of impulse function also we already discussed about this when impulse function is in integration no need to calculate that integration because that impulse function is having value only at t is equivalent to 0. Why because? So, here if you are having integration, integration is nothing but adding all that limits that means integral of minus infinity to infinity you can write minus infinity to some minus 2. So, minus 1 to 0 and 0 to 2 and 1 to 1 like this you can write. But minus infinity to minus 2 you are having any del function 0 into e power minus j omega t will takes place. Minus 1 to 0 also only at 0 you are having value. All the remaining values whatever we are integrating that will become 0 because of multiplication of del of t as 0. So, here we can write this integration as so del of t into e power minus j omega t at t is equivalent to 0. Always when del function is an integration is there, no need to calculate integration, just you, you just write the function in integration at t is equivalent to 0. You will get the value for that integration. We done a couple of problems I think when we are discussing properties of impulse function. So, here this is equivalent to del of 0 into e power minus j omega 0. So, del of 0 is nothing but 1 that means impulse function at t is equal to 0 is equivalent to 1 and e power 0 is also equivalent to 1. So, 1 into 1 will give you 1. So, Fourier transform of impulse function del of t is equivalent to 1. This is very very important one. In future, we are going to use this uh, standard, uh, this shortcut, this, uh, this formula or Fourier transform of impulse function, we are going to use like shortcut in several pr problems in future. So, this is very, very important. Not only Fourier transform, any transform of impulse function is equivalent to 1. Please keep in mind. So, any transform, any transform of for, uh, impulse function is equivalent to 1. That means Fourier transform, Z transform or Laplace transform of del of t impulse function is equivalent to 1. So, that point is also very important. Any transform of impulse function is equivalent to 1. That statement is also very, very important. In so many exams, we got that statement directly as a problem, one mark problem. So, here this is the Fourier transform of del of t and how to calculate Fourier transform of del of t. But uh, for any calculation for any Fourier transform, 
you need this equation for your transform equation first please keep in mind about this equation when you require Fourier transform for any signal you need to multiply with a negative exponential and integrate that's it so here this is about Fourier transform representation of impulse function